Hi Church and welcome to today's devotions. It's an absolute pleasure to be sharing with you today. Um, my name's Laura. I'm uh, uh, overseeing our Audacious Foundation, which is all about changing lives and transforming communities. And the question that I wanted to ask you this morning is what has 2021 looked like for you? And uh, I know as we came into January, we talked about this year being our biggest year yet. And I've certainly got testimonies of God breaking through in my life. And I'm sure that you do as well. 2021 was the year that I finally got on the property ladder after about five years of waiting and praying and saving and looking and putting offers in. And uh, it's an absolute joy to um, to be able to testify to that this year. In fact, um, the Bible verse that I was holding on to throughout this whole process was uh, Psalm 23. And amazingly, the house that I've just uh, moved into is number 23, which is absolutely amazing. And God is so good. But I wonder if, like me, there's been times where in the process you might have felt incredibly stretched or uh, facing challenges, not sure what the way forward is, uh, even surrounded. And uh, I know that at times it can be hard to see beyond our current situation or circumstances. You might be facing difficulties in finances. Uh, perhaps it, it's a challenging relationship a negative doctor's report um, or simply struggling to face the day ahead and waking up without few, uh, hope for what the future holds. And when we can't see a way forward in the natural, uh, God calls us to take on a new perspective. The Bible says that we live by faith and not by sight and that's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Uh, verse 7 sorry and uh, and really that means us choosing to trust in God and to see things as he sees them there's a brilliant uh, verse that I just want to read to you from 2nd Kings uh, chapter 6 verses 15 to 17 and it says this when the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes and looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. In this account, it looks like Israel was surrounded by an army. There was no way forward. And uh, in the natural, they faced defeat. They were intimidated. They were um, uh, hemmed in on every side. But in this uh, situation, the Lord opened Elisha's eyes to see what was happening in the supernatural. In the natural, they could see one thing, but God gave them a new and a heavenly perspective. And the same is true for us today, that when we're facing challenges or difficulties uh, in our situations, uh, that God compels us to look at things from his heavenly perspective, to live by faith and not by sight. And uh, one of my favourite worship songs is uh, by Michael W. Smith, um, which is Fight My Battles. And in it, he says, it might look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And I just wanted to take a moment today, uh, wherever you are, um, why don't you pause and just stick on YouTube and listen to that song and let God give you a new, fresh, heavenly perspective for what you're facing. And to know that, um, to know that with God, all things are possible, that when we apply faith, that we can see things as he sees them and that there is a way forward. He is a way maker. I hope you have a fantastic day today. Take care.